know it's been such a long time since I made a video. Pay no attention to the junk in the background. I will clean that up at a later date. But anyway, um, happy almost new year. I'm getting ready to wash my hair. Most of you know I wash it in braids, so hence the Coolio style that I'm currently rocking. Um, I was supposed to band my hair last night to get a... Oh, this is why I was going to band my hair. You guys know I don't really wear my hair out often. I don't really wear afros. For real. For real. Not on a regular basis or nothing like that. But um, we're supposed to be having watch night service. All of you who are unchurched, watch night service is the thing that people that go to church a lot do for New Year's. <laughs> so I don't know what I don't know why it's called watch night service. Are we watching for the coming of the Lord? I don't know. It's probably not why. And I'm making fun of it, which is not good. But anyway, my church is having a 70s party. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna be singing. In the choir, which I haven't done in a long time. I sing on the praise and worship team. Oh, but I've not sung in the choir in a long time. And I missed one rehearsal. And there were two new songs. And I was like, I don't know these songs. I don't know any hymns. Didn't grow up listening to hymns. Sorry. Went to the rock church growing up. They didn't have hymns. But anyway, I digress. Don't laugh at my hair. Don't laugh. Um, I was going to band my hair last night to get a big afro. Hence, you know, because it's a 70s party, that would have been the perfect hairdo. And all the, all, hold up, hold up. This is the funny part, too. All the natural women at my church were like, I'm not even going to wear an afro. Because everybody would expect me to have an afro. And I was like, but it's a 70s thing. Everybody wore an afro in the 70s. Nobody was like, I'm not going to wear my hair in an afro today. Because everybody going to expect me to have an afro. It was the 70s. Everybody had an afro in the 70s. Anyway, I'm going to wear an afro. Or I'm going to attempt you know, it might not even turn into an afro. It's probably going to be like a wash and go or something random. But I'm going to try to get an afro. I don't have time to band because normally I leave the bands on overnight. And it is now 11 a.m. And I've been trying to learn the songs I'm supposed to learn for the choir. Hopefully with a little bit of success because them lyrics. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to use these Con Air hot rollers to try to stretch my hair out. You see? Okay. So, they are compact. Innovation for shiny, voluminous curls. I got these on Amazon. I ordered them. They were like maybe $14. Something like that. Not very expensive. Okay. This is 20 multi-size rollers. Three sizes of rollers. Gives you endless styling options. Endless. Um, I'll be using these or attempting to use these. I need to read if you can use them on wet hair because I'm not trying to singe my precious, precious strands. Um, so I'm going to go wash my hair. Uh, I have... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. I missed the thought. Wait a minute. Maybe my shampoo's up here. Right up here. Okay, I'd put the shampoo on the desk. So, my bad. That's my bad. That's my bad. I like this shampoo. I'm not a really big fan of shampooing. However, my hair does better when I shampoo it. It's something I've discovered. The co-washing thing, eh, not really for me. Forget about it. My hair likes shampoo better. Ooh. I still do sulfate-free. I still try not to use... I still try to do curly girls. I still try not to use anything <laughs> with um, dimethicone and silicone and zang and surely have mineral oil and all that crap so but still my hair is better when I shampoo this stuff out because I tend to be a little heavy-handed with my products and yeah the more product I use the worse my hair reacts and it seems like the more it breaks but anyway I like this shampoo this is um Eden jojoba jojoba it's very minty it's good and sulfate free got it from a wall in Mart it was like nine dollars I don't use a lot of shampoo so it's probably last me like the rest of next year and I bought it at the end of this year um I was ordering products for like Cyber Monday and I could not get it together with Oyen and I really really love Oyen it's like my staple online company and I know I'm a product junkie but I always go back to Oyen because I really like that company but it just wasn't working out for me this time I just couldn't couldn't get it together couldn't order the stuff it wasn't working I emailed them they emailed me back I quit too early and ended up ordering stuff from Hair Veda Ayurveda is another company. It's in Rainer, Maryland, I think. 
Oyen is in Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah, I try to support companies that are from my hometown. I'm from Baltimore. So, um, I ordered from Hairveda. Very good product line, um, relatively inexpensive. The only two products I've used so far are the Busy Izzy Get Buttered Up, and I'll show you guys that later. I don't have it next to me, and I don't feel like pushing pause again. And I've used the Herbal Green Tea Butter. Don't feel like going to get that either. Smells delightful. Please use a very light hand. I always use too much, and I always get greasy hair. But I know it's because I use too much, and I don't have no business using that much of it because my hair doesn't even do well with a lot of product in it. But anyway, today... I'm going to use the Citronella Deep to do my conditioning. And I will tell you guys how I like this. I just ordered this one. I didn't order this when I initially ordered the products that I ordered. I ordered this afterwards. And I always use Vitiga oil that I get from the Indian grocery market. But I ordered their... I ordered their... Um, okay, I ordered their... I didn't hurt my, my laptop. My expensive MacBook. I don't know how much these things cost. I would have been tight if I did. But anyway, the Vatika Frosting um, herbal, Herb Infused. I let my boyfriend use this one day. He was going, going, I feel so infused and doing like this to his scalp. And he doesn't have any hair, of course. But, um, yeah, just coconut oil, some other lysoma, citrus, and just randomness. Like lemon, orange, and like it's got citrus in it. It's infused with citrusy goodness. That, 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 that sounds good. But anyway, I'm going to go wash my hair. And then I'll be back to talk about how I like this. How I like this. And then I will show you guys what happens with these rollers. So I'll be back. Hello there. So um, I just lightly blow dried my twists. I'm about to put the um hot rollers on I didn't want to put them on um while my hair was wet so I left my hair in some braids I just put some coconut oil in it ran out to the thrift store found some 70s clothes for tonight's event and um, I'm about to put the hot rollers on I'm getting ready to plug it in put the hot rollers on and I guess I'll show you guys how I put one or two on and then um uh, I'll show you guys the finished look I won't be having on my 70s clothes right away because I have something else to go to before I go to that event. So I'll take some pictures tonight. I'll remember to bring my camera and I'll show you guys what it looks like with my 70s clothes on. So push pause. I forgot to show you guys me rolling one, but I'm pretty sure you know how to put in a roller. It's the same as if you were putting in any other roller. Um, I had this horrible phobia of burning my fingers when I use these, but they actually don't get that hot. Um, so you won't burn your fingers. I'm perfectly fine. Um, don't roll them on wet hair. It says in the instructions. So only on slightly damp or dry hair are you to use these rollers. Um, the indicator, there's one roller that has an indicator light on the top. When that light turns white, it has reached optimum heating, uh, capacity probably doesn't make any sense but it's as hot as it's going to get when that light turns white on the top of that roller so you wait till that light turns white and then you want to roll your hair with them then um i used the little clips that came in the set except for one wouldn't fit on one of these jumbo rollers and i had one that flew away earlier so it was probably that one so um but yeah it was pretty simple i'm really only doing this to stretch my hair i'm not trying to get any type of real like roller set because as, as you know I rolled them with twists in my hair so um I'm gonna try to get ready really quick really really quick because um Booja ain't gonna be here in like now and he has to be somewhere at six so I'm gonna get ready and I'll show you guys what they look like when I take them out okay I'm gonna leave them in for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna take them out all right bye push pause again all right, so I didn't think I would have time to show you guys how it turned out, but this is how it came out. I don't like it at all, but it's too late to do anything to change it now because I have to leave in about 10.5 seconds. So, um, very loose. The ends didn't get curled at all, really, as you can see. Um, looks like I got stuck in the rain a little bit, like my hair got wet. <laughs> like it just died on me. So it doesn't look very good to me, but um, 
whatever. This is how it turned out. This is the front. This is the side. The other side. Just see the back. Okay. So it's probably my fault. I think I used too much coconut oil, like way too much coconut oil because it's really oily. But anyway, whatever. This is how it turned out. This was my attempt at using my hot rollers on twists. And hope you learned something. Use less coconut oil. That's about the only thing I can offer. I should use something with more hold. Um, but other than that, this is this is what I'm working with tonight. This is what I got. This is what's going on. This is how it's staying. Ain't nothing I can do about it now. And I love you guys. And um, I'll see you next time. I'll do a full hair beta review next time. Citronella Deep Conditioner. Best conditioner I've ever used in my whole life. My favorite. I love it. I'm going to have to start buying that on a regular basis. Give it a five. No complaints from this girl for that product. All right, lovelies. Well, I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you soon. And I promise I'll be back on a more regular basis. Mwah!